back home when I did, I says, I'd get up in the morning and I'd walk over to the other farm and do the chores. We had sheep and cattle over there and uh, take care of all the chores every morning and night. Most people that farm or, or was born on a farm, and it's just kind of something in your blood. You, you don't, you just, uh, you have to keep doing it. See, when you got one farm, then you want to get two farms. Yeah! Actually, when we were growing up, I don't think we bought anything at the grocery store. We had our own eggs. We had, you know, my mom wouldn't, you know, we had potatoes. Really, we didn't buy anything at a grocery store. Yeah, you're allowed to talk. You're not in school. <laughs> we did not know what pop was. We did not have any pop growing up. We didn't get any processed foods. Um, butter, you know what? We made our own butter. You're going to even talk in church. Well, yeah, people talk in church. Oh, sure you can. I don't know. Did you? I don't think you guys ever bought anything in the grocery store either. No, we didn't buy much. Oh, that's the only way to go. You got to be a farmer. Adam and Eve were farmers. No, you shouldn't have been no farmer. Yeah. No. We uh, had fruit trees. Fruit that, trees and apples and. So, we never went to the grocery store. I don't think I went to the grocery store until after we were married when we lived in Tiffin. Now, of course. Now you're done. You don't own nothing. Well, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm the luckiest man in the world. No, you're done. Yeah. You're done now. You just started I don't have to farm. I got cash in my sock, but I don't have a farm. You don't need no and farm. And I, I, I feel lost sometimes. Of course. Yeah. I'm afraid you might have to do a little housework. A lot of people don't even know, you know, have no idea about raising, having a garden or, you know, where milk comes from, you know, it's just a lot of different things. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I ain't worried about the housework. Grandma, <laughs> she does that. Yeah, not for long. Oh yeah, she's good at it. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody kid you. We do have to mop the kitchen floor someday. Well, we got an arg out there, too. <laughs> yes, I definitely think Midwesterners and, and these people in this area, most of the people we know, are very self-sufficient. If something happened, I think they'd be fine. And I, I can't remember exactly what the statistic is, but there's just a huge percentage of this population still, which is strange in 21st century America. There's a huge percentage of this population that still owns a farm, you know? They're still making their money based on the corn that's growing in front of my house. They, uh, they didn't believe in uh, wasting your time going to school. They want you to get out there on the farm and produce. I'm too serious, that's what it's all about. You know, we had, we had chickens and guinea, guinea, guineas, I think, and the hogs, damn hogs. Oh, we raised I'm a mad lot at, of hogs. I'm mad at hogs, pigs. Such a Grandma got filled up with the hogs. God damn. That ain't yeah. bad when you get filled up. <laughs> well, I didn't think much of that, that deal. There you well, go. Everything is not uh, easy or, or, how do you say it, or, or ice cream, you know. Ice cream tastes good. You eat it all the time, you, you choke on it. <laughs> but I don't think people understand what farmers do and, you know, how hard of work it is. But the ones that do it love it. In fact, I was thinking our accountant, how many years ago, we were losing money every year, and he told us we were doing it as a hobby. And I said, some hobby when you're working weekends and I said my husband I said he works a full-time job Monday through Friday he gets home and then he goes out and he works 
till midnight and he works on weekends. I said, but he does it because he loves it. And I said, and if the farmers didn't do this, you would be in bad. I was just really mad. I said, you would be in bad shape. You would not have any food in this in the United States. And ever since then, he's not said anything about it. He he realizes it's not a hobby. <laughs> it's something you do, and and you it just is something that was passed down from your father. And, and these dumb farmers, what they do, they go and work in town. The whole neighborhood did. And Grandma wondered why I went. Why I said everybody else went. Did two jobs. No, you only did one. You did part time. You didn't count it. 